Hey everyone, welcome to Devlog 5 for Empire Battle, a strategy game that I've been developing solo for the past year. And my game has a major problem. And that is a lack of control on the formation of units being deployed. And for a game that heavily relied on the type of unit deployed and the formation of these units, it lacked such a system. For example, shielded units such as the infantry and the spearmen will take half damage from archers and similarly, spearmen will do uh, double damage to cavalry units. With such strengths and when facing a wave of enemy archers, you would ideally want your uh, infantry units to be at the front and your range units to fire from a safe distance. If you're facing a wave of cavalry units, uh, your only chance of survival is to have your speedmin units at the front and uh, your other units at the back. This way you have a higher chance of doing away with the cavalry and then advancing towards the enemy. And for that a proper formation system or a unit deployment system was needed. To implement this I had to make some changes to my character script. Now currently when a character or when a unit is deployed, uh, it um, exists in a single state which is the attack state. And whenever a unit is deployed within this attack state, it will immediately run towards its nearest enemy, or if a unit does not exist, it will run towards the enemy base. And to add a deployment system, I had to add uh, two additional states, that is the deploy state and the defense state. So now whenever a unit is created, it will be in the deploy state, that is it will run towards the deploy zone or its uh, designated deploy position and then it will wait there in a defend state. So it will wait there, not charge towards the enemy, and if an enemy comes within range, it will attack it and then come back to its designated position. It will only advance towards the enemy when a attack command is given. A unit can also be directly deployed within the attack state. So in attack, the state is a boolean flag. So if uh, the attack state is active, and a unit is deployed, it will ignore the other two states and run directly towards the enemy base. The next task was to add a deploy zone to the game and show that to the player visually. I did that by adding 10 deploy zones in front of each base and uh, settled on having 10 units per wave. I then added these uh, particle effects to give this nice visual effect of a deploy zone. These deploy zones now make use of the additional states that were added to the character script and using this I can have some control over the formation system. So if I want I can deploy five infantry units which will lead the charge and then I can add uh, five healers at the back or five ranged units at the back and this will create a single formation and once that is done I am satisfied I can send them forward in this formation uh, by giving the attack command. And that is all the progress I have to show for this devlog. If you want to follow along, please do subscribe and consider joining my Discord, which will be linked in the description below. And thanks a lot for watching and uh, hope to see you in the next one.